led by a brass band, fair housing advocates second line into City Hall. Many say substandard living conditions need to change. Believe it or not. As some properties are lined with mold, roaches, and rats. And many do not cater to people with disabilities, like Ashley Voilin, who suffers from cerebral palsy. I'm here because renters, as the renter rents out, I feel that there needs to be more standards. So do some members of the New Orleans City Council. So this is the right thing to do, and it is the right time to do it. Everyone needs. After this rally, the City Council's Community Development Committee discussed the proposed Healthy Homes Ordinance, which could improve rental conditions. The proposed legislation is designed to provide three things. All rentals must meet a very basic standard of health and safety. Renters and neighbors are able to report landlords who refuse to make repairs, and it sets up a program to register and inspect rental properties. We also are proud about the fact that this ordinance recognizes that there are a lot of landlords who are themselves trapped in bad situations. That's why some property owners say they're behind what the council is trying to do. As a landlord, I uh, appreciate the uh, Healthy Homes Initiative. But other landlords who chose not to speak on camera feel the way the proposed ordinance is drafted is way too broad. Changes can still be made before the full council takes up the issue in the next few weeks, but some appear ready to vote. So this should be a no brainer here, and I want to apologize for not being able to do it sooner. We need to join together to make sure that we have quality housing.